Hello. In this video, I'm going to go over the absolute worst cybersecurity certifications to start with if you are a beginner. At the end, I'm going to go over the absolute best, and I'm going to rank them from F tier to S tier. If you've done any type of researching about how to get into a cybersecurity career, you probably come across a lot of cybersecurity certification videos. The thing is that a lot of those videos don't take in consideration Number one, the cybersecurity career that you're trying to get into. And number two, the difficulty level of that cert and the likelihood you are to quit if you don't have any background knowledge in that topic. If you're new to this channel, this channel is everything that I wish I had known when I started in my tech career 10 years ago that would have saved me a ton of time. The first one on my list is the CISSP. This is basically on every single job description from entry level to executive level, but this is a very advanced certification and it's more geared for leadership and operations. If you work within certain industries, this is for compliance reasons to, to hold higher level positions. If you are just starting out your career in cybersecurity, I absolutely would not recommend this certification if you have no years of experience because you're going to really lack the context to fully understand the questions. And the questions are very strangely worded. That can also make it difficult. Eight miles wide and like an inch deep. You have to know a little bit about everything. And so if you're a beginner, or even if you've been in the field for a while, it's a really difficult test. That is why it's going on my F tier. Well, the second certification that everybody talks about and everyone is pushing currently is the OSCP, Offensive Security Certified Professional. This certification is also on tons of different job postings. Tons of influencers push you to get this certification. A lot of people don't take in consideration is the difficulty level and the chances of succeeding. And most of the people I see pushing this certification to get, they actually don't have this cert. Unless you are technically inclined, I would suggest not going after this as your first certification because it is so difficult and you're most likely not going to complete it successfully. And you may just give up on your journey altogether. That is why it's going on my F tier. Next certification is the, Comp the CompTIA CAS Plus. It is very technical and it's more about solving problems rather than making decisions. So the CISSP is more about making decisions. The CAS Plus is more technical knowledge. And at the end, you should know how to use scanning tools, know how, what a SIM is or submit security information event manager, fix certain issues and set up protections like firewalls and antiviruses and things of that sort. If you are wanting to get this certification, it's great if you are already in IT and want to get that cert to level up. But if you are just a complete beginner looking to start your career, the CASP Plus is not the place to go because of this is going on my D tier. The next cybersecurity certification is the CISM, the Certified Information Security Manager. This is a great certification to get as in the name if you're wanting to become a manager. And if you want to know more about business needs and prior prioritizing your, your tasks based on different risks, this is the certification to get. If you're just starting out, I wouldn't really suggest it. It's not as advanced or difficult as the CISSP because of this is going on my D tier. The next certification is a little bit newer. That is the PNPT by TCM Academy, which stands for Practical Network Penetration Tester. And so it's very hands on and I've heard really great things about it. It's not as human resource friendly and it's more specialized if you want to become a penetration tester. Very challenging, very specialized, but a little bit easier than the CSP. This is going on my D tier. The next certification, which is also challenging and specialized, is the CISA, Certified Information System Auditor. Now this is geared towards governance, risk, and compliance, and if you want to become an auditor for a company. This is also a really well-known certification. If you are wanting to upskill from IT, it's fantastic. If you are completely new to the field, it might be a little bit challenging to get, 
it is a requirement for a lot of large companies. If you are wanting to get into GRC and you think you could, and you know a lot about auditing and maybe work at a large financial company already, then the CISA is a fantastic certification to get. This is why it's going on my C tier. The next certification is also by ISACA, but the more interesting part, which is the CRISC Certified in Risk and Information System Control. This is fantastic if you want to learn more about risk management. To me personally, I think risk management is probably the most interesting part of cybersecurity. And it's important for every single business to know about risk. And probably one of the highest paying skills and the most valuable to an employer is risk and knowing risk. You will probably use it almost every day at your job. This is one that I am considering about getting just because I want to learn more about risk. This is specialized and this is challenging. And so this is not the best for beginners. It's also not the worst. So it's going on my C tier. The next certification is by ISC squared. And that is the CC, the certified cloud security professional. Now, a lot of people say you should get this certification and you should just get this P. But if you really like the cloud and you want to specialize in just cloud security, this is a fantastic certification to get. It's also vendor neutral. This certification is going to grow in the long run. It's moderately challenging is what I have heard from people, and it is pretty popular and is going to grow in popularity as more and more systems go to the cloud. And because of this, I'm putting it on the B tier. The next certification is by AWS, and it's their security specialty certification. This is a technical exam and it is pretty challenging. It's moderately popular and it's going to become more and more popular as time goes by. Cloud is a really in-demand skill and not a lot of people who work in IT have skills in the cloud. If you can get skills in the cloud and then specialize in security, you're going to be ahead of a lot of people for a while. I have been looking through and going through AWS and studying for AWS and AWS is difficult is a completely possible certification after one or two years of experience within the IT field. It's not as hard as the other ones, but it's also not the easiest. I'm going to put this in B tier. The next certification is probably one of the most hated certifications in the industry, but also loved by HR, and that is CEH. I have the CEH, I've been through it. It's not necessarily a bad exam. It's just that they try to position themselves at a higher level than they actually are, but they have added a lot of practical exercises. You learn the basics of ethical hacking and penetration testing. This is great if you need it for compliance reasons. It is a little bit of expensive. It's also difficult to renew it. It's, I'm in that process right now. It is not easy to do. Also, it's valuable in terms of HR. I do have HR mention it to me. Do you have the certification? If you do, that's awesome. And they really like that cert. CEH has great marketing, but their test is okay. People might hate me for this. It's going on my A tier, but it's a little bit expensive and it doesn't really have any street cred. If you need it for compliance reasons, I would say yes. I just had to mention it. The next certification is the first cloud security certification that was ever created, and that is the CCSK. SK is great for beginners to intermediate, and it's open book, so you can use your resources while going through it. If you're not familiar with the cloud and cloud security concepts, this is a fantastic cert to get. It gives you and it lays the ground it's almost like the Security Plus, but for cloud. It is going on my A tier. The next certification on my list is the CompTIA Pen Test Plus. This is basically teaching you the pen test basic and is pretty similar in terms of level as the CEH. They're the same information, really. It's just branded differently. This is a pretty good certification to get if you just want to lay the basics of being a penetration tester and doing ethical hacking. The difficulty level is a little bit less than, say, a PNPT and definitely way less than the OSCP. It's not really asked for that much by HR because it doesn't sound as cool, really. 
it is going on my A tier. The next one is the CYSA Plus by CompTIA. This teaches you to the base knowledge you need to become a cybersecurity analyst. It is needed for compliance reasons by the federal government. And it's an absolute fabulous certification. I've gone through the book. If you're just a beginner and you don't really know security, this teaches you basically the basics of a security operation center. Things like what is a security information event manager? How do you read a log? If you are a beginner not knowing where to start, this is a really great certification to maybe aim for. This is going on my A tier. The next certification that is becoming really popular is the Azure SOC Operation Certification. It's beginners to intermediate. So if you're completely new, this is a good guided certification to learn what Azure is and also what security operation centers look like within the cloud. This is going on my A tier. The next certification people ask me about a lot is the Blue Team Level 1 for junior security operations center. I actually did buy this certification and I went through a little bit of it. There was a lot of reading involved. They do have labs in it. I didn't make it all the way through though because something happened with my authenticator and then if you lose your authenticator, you can't log back in. And I have no idea what happened to, and then you can't get it back. And I wasn't able to log in and finish it. I would say this is a great beginner certification. It's not really popular with human resources. If you are looking between the Azure SOC analyst or the blue team level one, I would go with the Azure SOC one. It's a little bit cheaper and it's the same information and you're learning the cloud there, but it is still a good beginner level certification. And so that is still why it's going on my A tier. The next certification that you have all been waiting for is the CompTIA Security Plus. The CompTIA Security Plus is a beginner level foundational certification. They are the GOAT of entry level cybersecurity. It's a broad based instruction that teaches wide range of security concepts, including incident response, management, vulnerability, cloud security. And if you work for certain industries, this is a requirement. They won't hire you without the security plus. That is why it's going on my S tier. It's fantastic for beginners. It's a pretty low cost and it's highly popular with tons of really affordable training everywhere. That's also really good. The next certification on the list is the AWS Cloud Practitioner. I've been updating myself on the job market and cloud is becoming huge. And I've seen tons of job descriptions saying you must be certified in Azure, AWS, or GCP. This is definitely going to become more and more popular in the future. AWS has the biggest market share. There are the most jobs. It is a little bit more difficult to learn than say Azure. This is going in my S tier, excellent for beginners, really popular, and it'll build that confidence that you need to then move on to the next more difficult certification. That is my list of certifications from the worst for the absolute beginner trying to break into security to the absolute best. I'm releasing a cybersecurity resume challenge that will walk you through the basics of cybersecurity by actually doing a project. Now this I'm releasing at a discounted rate. So if you want to check that out and then get it before it launches, there is a link below in the description for it. It's really suited for people, beginners in cybersecurity to teach them the foundations by getting their hands dirty, essentially.